Yo, what's going on dudes? HK Titans here with a brand new video for you guys and in today's video I have something a little bit different planned for you because we are going to be remastering a user made map So this map was submitted by Evan and he wants me to remaster this map So I took a look at this map and I'm not getting a lot of inspiration here because I know exactly what they're going for But at the same time like uh, I feel like there's just like way too many props all over the place like I know that they were trying to like make a present out of uh, these uh, bushes, but by making these bushes, um, your your the towers that you place down aren't actually able to shoot through the bushes. So this map is a little bit of a cluster. So it's gonna be really fun to like turn this into a map that kind of has that official vibe, right? So the first thing that I want to do. Um, I think I'm going to scrap this present in the middle here and I think I'm going to come up with a little bit of a different idea. So I like the theme of Santa over here in the corner. We have the house up here, but I think we can actually come up with something really, really cool um, with the same general vibe of being like a Christmas themed with like Santa delivering presents. The only thing that I need to figure out is what I'm going to do with this middle section here. All right, so the first thing I want to do is I want to go ahead and like get the like areas laid out. So I want to go ahead and place down the trees up here in the top left. I want to place the trees down here in the bottom, uh, in the bottom left as well. And then I also want to place a house up here. That way I don't forget uh what like the different areas of the map are. All right, so these are the basic areas of, of this map. We have the giant ice in the middle, and then we have the trees in the top left, the trees in the bottom left, as well as the trees in the bottom right. And of course, we have the house up here as well. So I have a couple of ideas already. And what if we made the pathway come in over here, and instead of having the pathway go through the middle of the lake, what if we make this like ice lake into like a feature on the map? And then we have the uh, pathway circle around this map, but come in from the house, and then it does like a, an oval pattern and then it drops down here and then exits over here on the right hand side. It would kind of be similar, but the middle section would change a lot. So I don't know if Evan minds me like making a big change, but with this map, it almost seems like Evan wanted to make like a picture in the map, but I'm not really feeling that be because like there's so much detail on, uh, on this map. I feel like it would have been better if they want to go for a 3D creation, if they just like actually made a 3D creation and Instead of like trying to like make the pathway go through the creation itself so of course we have to make sure that we keep the gift wrap vibe though because e even if we aren't going to be using like the same pathway and we're going to remove this giant obstacle in the, the middle of the map i still want there to be like presence involved and i think i have a really good solution that we can actually keep the presence involved in in this map so the first thing i'm going to do is i'm going to go ahead and get this like little ice lake set up now with this ice lake the main thing that i want to do is i want to give it like a really cool like shape so the shape that i want to go for is i want like there to be like a um i almost like a I want to say like a C shape, but not like a full C shape, uh, just like this. And then uh, we need to raise this one up just a touch and then drop this one down a little bit. And then of course, whenever we're making lakes, we can't forget that we want to like make it, make it so like the lake isn't perfectly uniform. So we'll add like these little wavy bits all, all over the place. And then once we like start adding more detail, uh, we'll add some like rocks and we'll add like a couple of things to like make the lake blend into our map a little bit better. All right, so that's gonna do it for the lake in the middle of the map. Now, the next thing I wanna do is I wanna go ahead and get the pathway set up. So the pathway that I'm thinking about doing is I'm almost thinking about doing like a dual pathway. Uh, and with the dual pathway, we'll have one pathway start over here and then come in over here and then exit on the right or the left hand side. And then we'll have one start on the left hand side and then exit on the right hand side. So I thought this would be a pretty cool idea. And then uh, uh, like it'll really start to take shape once we like do or make a split over here. And we're going to have like uh, something in the middle of the two pathways. And then for the for most of the track, the two pathways will actually be like joined together. All right, so this is going to be the pathway here. So I want to like kind of make the pathway a little bit wider with these uh, two separate paths. 
that way we had like that gray effect on both sides of the pathway and then over here the gray uh the gray effect is gonna like go away because this is where the two pathways split but I thought this would look really, really cool. Um, and then the next thing I want to check out is I want to see how the balloons are going to look in, um, like in, in an actual game. So right now, yeah, I actually really like the way this looks. Like we have a couple of the balloons that are going to take the top pathway. And then we have uh, these balloons that are coming from the left that are going to take this bottom pathway. And I think this should add a little bit of a challenging aspect to this map. Now, I don't think it'll be like too hard because... Um, we still have uh, like a lot of area over here where we can place down towers to hit the balloons as well as we have like this giant lake where we can uh, place down towers. But I was thinking about something a little bit different and I was wondering if we like took away uh, being able to place towers on top of the lake, but I don't know how that would look. But now the next thing I want to do is I want to go ahead and get like the forest set up and then after we get the forest set up and then we can start like thinking about other details that we want to add. Now, one thing I mentioned all the time when I'm like uh, using a lot of trees is you want to leave a little bit of area in between the trees because if you have the trees spaced too close together, then it's going to look a little unnatural because in forests and stuff like that, like yeah, the trees will be close, but they won't be like um, stacked on top of each other. And then on top of that, when you guys are making like scenery with like a bunch of uh, trees, you guys want to make sure that you make some of the trees that are slightly smaller, slightly bigger because uh, not all trees are gonna be exactly the same size, right? All right, so now that we have like uh, the pathways and we have a bunch of these trees placed down, right now it doesn't look bad, but there's still a, so much more detail that we can add. Now, the next thing I wanna do is I wanna go ahead and add a couple of rock features on the map before we start going into like the really fine details. All right, so we added a couple of rock features over here. Now, I'm debating on adding another one up here, but I made the pathway a little bit too close to the lake. So I think I need to drop this lake effect down just a little bit. And I, I, I want to add a rock right here. So I just like dropped the lake down a little bit because I thought it would look really cool if we had another rock effect up here. And this will just add a little bit of a transition for our rocks, right? Or it'll add a little bit of a transition for our lake because our lake looks good right now, but it can look so much better just by adding a couple of the these rocks to like make it seem a little bit or make it the transition from the ground into the lake a little bit smoother right but i think i need to use a different rock and there we go that's just adding a little bit more detail to this map right like it's not going crazy with the detail but it's adding more props to add a little bit more of an atmosphere to this map so i know guys i know we're really straying far away from what this uh map originally was so we need to go ahead and add something that really brings that um, gift wrapped uh, theme to this map. And I think I have a really good idea on what to do. So um, obviously, because we're not going to have that present in the middle of the lake, the only thing that we can do is we can add a couple of presents underneath a Christmas tree. So my idea to add that gift wrap vibe is to put a Christmas tree out in front of this house. And then we'll add a bunch of presents around this tree. And this is like the whole reason why I made like the split pathways because I thought this would look really, really cool. And then I have a little bit more ideas to like really bring uh, the Christmas tree to life as well. All right, so we added a little bit of a Christmas tree out front of the house. And I added a bunch of presents around the house as well. Now I also add like a little gingerbread man up against the house as well as I added a couple of candy canes here. Now, another thing that Evan had on his map that I thought was really, really cool is they had Santa Claus. So with Santa Claus, um, I think I want to put Santa Claus on top of the house, but, um, I don't know how that would work. Um, I think that's like the best place to put Santa Claus. Like it's much, well, actually we could put Santa Claus over here on the ice lake. Um, because all the presents are out front of the house as well. The only thing is that the house, the lights are on. So I don't know if that would actually look good or not, but you know what? Let's go ahead and give it a shot. Uh, we'll go ahead and place down Santa here. Um, and then we'll go ahead and I think there's actually a stamp for like sleigh tracks as well. And then we'll have like sleigh tracks behind Santa's sleigh. And then with Santa's sleigh, um, I placed down like multiple of uh, the uh, sleigh tracks. I will make Santa's sleigh a little bit smaller and then we'll have him like, uh, just like he like stopped on the lake. There we go. I think that looks pretty cool. Now, the only thing is that we don't have any reindeer. It would be really cool if they like added the like reindeer monkey and then we could like put like a reindeer in front of Santa's sleigh. But there's nothing that like really fits for Santa's sleigh. Unless we like, oh dude, actually, you know what? What if, um, 
this wolf actually like kind of fits the theme for santa sleigh and then we could add like two of them dude that would actually be kind of cool i actually really like this so we'll go ahead and put two of these wolves here and then the only thing is what are we going to use to like add as like reins no so, for like reins and because like the dogs make like weird movements um i think you guys have like a rough idea of what i'm trying to go for but it will look a little bit weird when the like dogs like roll over um, I think we could actually turn... No, we can't turn off the animation for pets. So that's a little bit unfortunate. Um, is there anything that we could use for, like, reins for, their, like, the dogs? I don't think there is. Like, the only, like, strength thing that we have is this. But that really doesn't, like... I don't think that looks good. Like, if we made it smaller and then we, like, did this, like, we could make it work. But I just feel like, um... It almost looks better without the reins, right? I, I mean, they... I mean, you guys can just use your imagination. Instead of there being, like, uh, actual physical reins, they're gonna be magical reins. Now, it would be cool if we could, like, change the color of the dog's nose. But the only way that we could do that is if we could turn off the animation for the pets. And then we could, like, add a bulb in front of, like, the nose. But there, unfortunately, we really can't do that. Uh, unless, like, uh, Ninja Kiwi allows us, like, turn off animations for pets. So now the next thing I want to do... Um, what Evan did is he has a bunch of those, like, uh, snow bushes. So I really like the way that those snow bushes look. So I want to incorporate them somewhere in the map. So my main idea to incorporate these, like, bushes in, into the map is put them in front of the house. Like, if we put these in front of the house, I think that'll look really, really cool. But the only problem is I think we would have to, like, ditch this snowman. And then we would also have to, like, move this over here as well. Like, this isn't, like, the end of the world. But, like, uh, I actually think this this, this this would look pretty cool. Um, We have uh, these bushes over here on this side. If we copy this and then we rotate it, um, we could have it, like, going around the house. But then we would have to make these bushes a little bit smaller. And you know what, guys? I don't think that looks too bad. I actually really like these bushes around the house it adds a lot of substance to uh, uh the house right um i want to add some more of these candy canes on this side though because these candy canes look really really cool and it would be a shame if we only had the candy canes on one side of the doorway here we go so we have like a little candy cane entrance here now um what else do we want to add in front of the doorway to make it look a little bit better um but the first thing that we should probably do is we should probably change the background from the green over to the snow now the main reason why i want to like uh make it or like do all of this with the green background is because i want to like make sure like all of the props like lined up correctly because it can get a little bit difficult to like line everything up when we have like the snow background so um what what can, what can we do with this gingerbread man you know what we could we could actually like make this gingerbread man like really really small and we could actually put this gingerbread man like on the, the front door if we raise it up um wait oh dude like i like this but at the same time it looks or it, it always ends up looking a little bit weird um nah let's let's just go and get rid of that um now the next thing i want to do is i want to make something for like the front um like the entrance way to the house so i think for the entrance way to the house um what would it look like if we just like put down like a bunch of like the sunspot dude that, that actually doesn't look bad that actually kind of looks good. Um, but I need the uh sun the sunspots to all face the same direction. And I need them to like line up correctly. That way it doesn't look weird. Like it adds a little bit of shade in front of the house, but unfortunately, because all of these like uh they're they're all random, we can't like make it look like really, really good. Like I like the way that they look when they're stacked to be because it makes it more prominent. But the only problem is, is that we can't get the uh props to face the same direction direction or these stamps to face the same the same direction which is something that i hope ninja kiwi fixes in the next uh, update because that would look so good for an entrance way right all right so i've like i've been experimenting with a uh, with a couple of these props or these uh, stamps and the only thing that i think is gonna end up looking good is i think we're gonna have to go with our usual uh box trick to put in front of the like the house or the door I think that's the only thing that'll look good, guys. Like, I wish we had, like, more things uh, that we could, like, blend in with, like, the... Or to, like, make a, like, front porch. But unfortunately, we really don't have too many options. All right, you know what? This act this actually doesn't look too bad. Like, I like the boxes, but I want to go for something a little bit different. And this actually doesn't look half bad, guys. So the prop that I use for this is I use this right right here. 
and then we can use like a couple of snow piles to like make it blend into the background a little bit better and that actually doesn't look half bad so now we need to go ahead and like try to find a couple more like uh bigger props to add a little bit more detail and i think i want to add like a dead tree over here um I actually you, you know what we we already have enough trees i don't want to add too many more trees like i already feel like this is way too ma many trees on the map but like i was saying i didn't want to take everything away from evan's map because i already took like the big thing in the middle of the map away so i want to make sure like i kept the like really thick forest you know what let's go ahead and add ourselves a couple of snowmen over here and then i think we can add ourselves another snowman over over here as well and i think that would end up looking really really cool actually let's add another snowman up or a snowman up here because these snowmen look really really cool right so i had this snowman up here but let's make it a little bit smaller and yeah i kind of like the way that that looks now the only question is is there anything else that i want to add to or add around the tree i don't think there is now the next thing i'm trying to debate on doing is i'm debating on what else i want to add like i don't want to go crazy with the amount of props uh but um, I do feel like it's a little bit plain right now. So I'm trying to like think about what I can add to add a little bit of extra pizzazz to this map, guys. All right, I wonder if I can make this like blend into the background. So I thought it'd be really cool if we like had a spot where like the ice was broken. But um, we're going to run into another issue of if I can make it blend into the background. So if we add like a couple of uh, like these like ice stamps, um, it doesn't look bad but it just doesn't look good because I well I, I actually you know what that that doesn't look half bad like we have a couple of like ice chunks in in the mix now I would like to make like a couple of the ice chunks smaller but unfortunately we don't have that option um I think we have a couple of props that we could use for like ice chunks too but I hope they don't look weird all right so we have like these like small like ice or these small like um iceberg type things right so they don't look bad but you know what guys I'm, I'm just gonna go ahead and scrap this entire thing um i think it would work out better if we, wait you know what i'll keep it but i'm gonna change the shape of the area like i really want to do this but the only problem is like the uh stamps are just way too big and we can't make any jagged corners that's another thing that's like kind of like irking me about this is that we don't we can't really make like sharp corners so um the stamps are gonna have to or we're, we're gonna have to rely on the stamp and then we'll have like one here and then we'll have another one over here and it'll be like uh, the other stamp because uh because there's like not a lot of room room here we we don't want to add too many stamps so we'll just add a couple uh the more i look at it the more i hate it i'm just gonna ditch you guys like i know we've been working on it for like the past couple of minutes but i just don't like the way that it looks man if only this was a darker color of blue this actually wouldn't look bad like it has a couple of jagged corners and like they don't have any round spots which is which that's what i wanted to like do with the um like the hole in, in the ice but unfortunately um it, it, i just couldn't get this like really straight edge effect which is kind of upsetting because this would look so cool as like broken ice so hopefully they add something in a future update where we where we can have a little bit more control over like the broken ice right so i'm gonna go ahead and get a bunch of like small details set up and i'll bring you guys back as soon as i have a bunch of the small details set up all right so i I added a bunch of detail to this map. I had a bunch of shrubs over here. I added a bunch of detail to the middle section here. So I really wanted to do something that was a little bit different. So I ended up making like a crack in the ice where there was like a big crack in, in the ice and it like kind of tilted up. And that's what we have like this uh, unfrozen water under underneath it. And I thought this would add a lot of detail and I thought it looked really, really cool. Then I went ahead and I added some like snow on top of the building. I added some snow on top of the Christmas tree now i'm trying to think of a couple of other things that i can do here but i don't want to add too much because once we start to add like a bunch of detail that's when like the map like starts to like seem cluttered so i think the last thing i want to do is i want to add a little bit of this snow grass because the snow grass looks really really cool and on top of that it does add a little hint of extra detail so we'll just add it like randomly around the map we'll mainly add it around the rocks uh that way we can have like a little bit of like frozen grass around the rock all right so far um i don't know what else i want to add here um the next thing that i want to do is i want to add a little bit more detail to the house 
On top of that, I want to do something with this Christmas tree to make it seem a little bit more magical. So I have a couple of uh, different ideas. And the first idea is going to be for this house. So the idea that I have for the house is let's go ahead and we'll add like a smoke coming out of the chimney. So this really isn't too hard to do. We just need to make sure that we line up the smoke correctly. There we go. So we have a little bit of a smoke effect coming out of the chimney. And I think that looks really, really cool. Now, the next thing I want to do is I want to add a glowing effect behind the star. So we can actually do this by using this and we'll make it like really, really small and then we'll raise it up really far and then hopefully we can get this right behind the Christmas, uh, the uh, star at the top of the tree. Um, it looks good, but it's not really noticeable, right? Like, uh, if it was a little bit of a different background, like it would be a little bit more noticeable, but because it's not a different background or because it's this background, it's not really noticeable. Now, the next thing I was thinking about doing, like, what if I added like these steps? And I had these like steps go through the the map and it would almost look like uh, snow going through the map. So we'll just position these in like random spots. Uh, I just, just want to see how it's going to look. So it doesn't look bad, right? Um, It's just a little bit too dark. So I'm not going to use it. I'm going to go ahead and change, change my mind a little bit. All right. So let me go ahead and take like a final look through all of the props to make sure that I didn't miss out on anything. I don't think I did. I think for the most part, we have everything that I need. Um, ah, oh, dude, like now that I'm thinking about it, we could add like a little fire out from the house, but um, I think that would be a little bit too much, especially since Santa's outside. No, nobody's really going to be like making a fire when like Santa's right in front of the house, right? But guys, I think for the most part, uh, this is going to do it for our map. Now, of course, the last thing we have to do is we have to choose a background effect. So I think uh, what would end up look or looking really good is if we just add like the really slow snowfall because this is kind of like a chill night as Santa's out so we definitely don't want like the really like a uh, hard snow but then again the really hard snow would look pretty cool too but I think we're gonna go with the slow snowfall and then of course we need to choose some music so for the music we're just gonna choose uh jingle balloons because I mean we have to choose j jingle balloons because I mean Santa's here so is there anything else that we could really do oh wait no dude I'm forgetting the most important part. Um, I forgot to add a background of, or the, the shade around all of our trees. So I'm gonna go ahead and add that shade really quick and I'll bring you guys back as soon as I'm done. There we go. And by adding that little bit of extra shade that really brought so much more detail to our map. Um, I'm just like taking a look through here. We have a couple of spots that are a little bit light later, which is what I wanted to go for. Um, I also wanna add a little bit more shade underneath these trees out here because it looks a little bit weird without, without shade behind them, right? And then I think I wanna, uh, dude like i feel like there's a little bit too much space in between the trees but i think for the most part that doesn't look too bad now i'm gonna take one last look through my map here because i don't think there's anything else i really need to add because i think this is this about like wraps it up so now we already cho chose the background effect um let me just double check check to make sure i have it perfect and then we already chose the background music so of course the next thing we have to do is of course uh, play our map to make sure our map is beatable all right so i named the map a gift wrap remastered because the name of edwin's map was gift wrap so let's go ahead and play the map and yeah like i kind of like the way that this turned out like obviously this isn't going to be like a super hard hard map um i ended up nixing the plan of uh like uh making it so you couldn't place towers on top of the water mainly because like santa's here and if, if, and if you're gonna have santa here obviously you're, you're gonna be able to like place towers on top of the uh the lake now if i would have like added a little bit more like cracks and stuff like that i could like kind of see like making the entire lake unable to like place towers but i didn't leave too many spots for to actually place down towers so i didn't want to make the map too hard right now evan if you're watching this i hope you like the remastered version and i do apologize that i took out that giant present in the middle of the screen it's just i really didn't know what to do with the present uh, other than like turn it into a 3d creation but i did, really didn't want to like turn the entire map into a 3d creation if that's something that you guys want to see like i could have turned it into a 3d creation but i just feel like it would have seen or it would have worked out a little bit better if i actually made an actual playable map right but anyways dudes while we're being this map i just want to say thank you guys so much for the support on the series so far you guys are absolutely crushing it as always and of course if you guys enjoyed this video make sure you guys hit that like button also if you guys are new around here don't forget to subscribe as well 
well because I do upload it daily BT6 content. And of course, if you guys made a map that you guys would like to see me remaster, please feel free to let me know in the comments below. Or if you guys have a different map that you guys would like to see me create, again, please feel free to let me know in the comments below and I'll definitely make it happen. But anyways, dudes, I'm gonna go ahead and fast forward all the way up until round 40 and I'll see you guys here in just a second. But all right, dudes, here we are near the end of round 39. So this map uh, ended up working out really well. Um, There's no like weird sight lines. Um, uh, I was a little bit worried about like the iceberg here in the middle of the map, but it ended up working out perfectly fine. Now, if you guys would like to play this map for yourself, here is the code. And let me know in the comments below what you guys would rate this map on a scale of one to 10 bananas. One being not so good or 10 being really good. But anyways, dudes, again, thank you for watching and I'll see you dudes in the next one.